Hello everyone and welcome to the February 28th NCCC tournament game between the HTCMA Phoenix and the Granby Bears. I'm Chris Saunders along with Mark Bombard on camera bringing you to tonight's action. HTCMA stands for the Hartford Magnet Trinity College Hello, Academy. I want to remind everyone that both of our teams have worked equally hard in preparation for tonight's game. Both deserve your support and respect. Also, the officials do their best to call the game fairly, and all fans, coaches, and players should respect their judgment. We request that all cheering be done in a positive and respectful manner. This game is for HFTC and Grammy. Please allow everyone here to experience the fun and enjoyment of high school athletics. And here's Granby Athletic Director Brian Maltesi bringing our starting lineups. Richardson Merson, number one. Karan Henderson, number five. Ethan Wellington at center, number 13. Alex Delito, number four, and number 23, Demir Kanda. And now for the Granby Bears. Sophomore John Bell starting at guard for Granby. Cam Deer, number 11, the other starting guard. Jack DeGray, number 24, at forward. Dylan Disabella, number five, the second leading rebounder on the team. And Rowan Hines, number 21. So HTCMA comes in with a record of 11 wins and nine losses. They played Granby on January 27th, losing to the Bears in a close ball game, 48 to 45. But they've also defeated two top teams in the league, uh, Ellington and SMSA. They're coached by Blaze Brescia and the assistant Stockton Farmer. For the Granby Bears, they come in with a record of 12 wins and eight losses. They lost last week to Weaver, 77-54. In the past this season, they also defeated Ellington, and they've split with one of the top teams in the conference, Canton. 
They're coached by Wally Hansen, assistants Mike Dombrowski, Charles Aquandu, and Dennis Lobo. So we're just about set to begin tonight's action. Controlled by the Phoenix. Here's a pass underneath. Shot is no good by Demir Kandek and the rebound to Granby. Here's John Bell to Dylan Disabella in the Rowan Heights. Underneath to Jack DeGray for the layup that is good. Good ball movement by Granby. And as you can see, they're instilling a full court press. Granby in the white uniforms with maroon and yellow trim. And we have a whistle and a foul. Oh, it looks like it's just a turnover. So Granby will retain possession here, or gain possession. Off Bell's foot, and we have another turnover. So going into the backcourt violation, and dressed in the Looks like Navy outfits with yellow letters, and yellow numbers and letters, our HMTCA. Here's Henderson with the ball. To Marson. Back to Henderson. Here's Delito now outside. Three-point attempt by Marson is no good, but the rebound around no good. Scramble for the ball, and Disabella picks it up for Granby. To John Bell. Back to Disabella, back to Bell. To Disabella. Corner goes to Deer. Back to Bell, to Disabella. Here's Deer for a three-pointer, that is good! Cam Deer hits on a three-pointer. Granby up five to nothing. We have just over six minutes left in the first quarter. Granby employing a trap stolen by Disabella underneath to DeGray. Beautiful layup by Jack DeGray. Here's a pass underneath, and we have a dunk by Demir Kanda. The first two points for HTCMA. So they did a nice job of breaking the press that time. Ball is stolen. This is Delito. Goes in for the layup that is good. Alex Delito with the hoop. 7-4, Granby on top. 5-30 left in the first quarter. Here's Deer with a pass in the Heinz. Back outside. Here's a three-point attempt by Disabella. It's no good. And Kendrick cannot control the rebound. So it will be Granby Ball. John Bell will inbound. To Deer to Disabella. Back to Deer. Popping from three. Just misses. And the rebound taken down by Kandek. Here's Henderson with the ball. Flips to Delito. Delito goes in for the lap, no good. Rebound is put up and in by Ethan Wellington. 7-6, Granby on top by one. Cross court to Deer, to Bell, to Disabella. Back to Deer, to Bell, Disabella. Inside to Heinz cutting for a turnaround jump that's no good. And Kendrick, Kendrick comes down with the rebound. Here's a layup, shot is no good, no foul called. Bell's pass is intercepted by Dialito. Loose ball picked up by Granby. Here's Disabella to Deer for, for three. That is good. Cam Deer off to a terrific start, hitting on two three-point attempts. 
Here's Diolito driving. Has nowhere to go. Makes room though and puts it in. 10-8, Granby on top, 3.50 to go in the first quarter. Here's Disabella in the corner to Gray for a three-pointer that is good. Jack DeGray now with seven points. Granby with a 13-8 lead. Here's Henderson underneath. Kendrick's shot is blocked and it goes out of bounds. Nice defense by Granby. No, apparently it is not. Apparently it is out of bounds off of Granby. There's a drive by Henderson that is around and good. Karan Henderson with the first hoop of the night. Brings HTCMA within three. Here's Disabella. Cross court to Deer. Back to Bell, to Disabella. Bell, Disabella pulls up for three. Off the rim, no good. And the rebound by Wellington. Here's Henderson with the ball. To Marson. Back to Henderson. And Marson. Marston being guarded by Bell. Here's Henderson looping it underneath. Shot is blocked. A takedown by DeGray. Here's Disabella. Back out to Bell. To Heinz. This pass is tipped away. Kendrick comes down with the loose ball. Here's Henderson going in for the layup. It is around no good. Ball is loose. And it's going to be Grandy Ball. Surprisingly, a foul not called. It looked like Cam Deere was hit from behind attempting to get the rebound. Doesn't make too much of a difference, though, as Granby Limpot. So, HTCMA impressing uh, a full court press, just as Granby has. Here's Bell. DeGray for three. Off the back, no good. And the rebound to Diolito. Ball tipped away. Disabella. To Goudreau, who just reported in. Back to Disabella. Here's DeGray for a drive. Throws it back outside to Bell. Here's Goudreau for a shot. That is good. Aiden Goudreau with his first basket. 15 to 10, Brandy on top. 136 left in the first quarter. Here's Henderson. Drives the lane. Now throws it back outside to Diolito. Ball's tipped away, but Marson comes away with it. Here's Diolito for three. That is good. So Alex Diolito now with seven. 15 to 13. Granby on top. 50 seconds left in the first quarter. There's Bell driving. Kicks it back outside to Disabella for a drive. Layup that is no good. Kandik with the rebound. To Henderson. Almost loses the ball, then Disabella takes it away. Up court it goes to DeGray. DeGray drives for a layup that is no good, but he's fouled on the play. That foul is going to be called against Karan Henderson. That is his first, and surprisingly, the first foul of this quarter for either team. First one is no good by DeGray. He has one more coming. Number 13, Ethan Wellington, back in for HTCMA. 
to Gray with another foul shot. And good. Jack DeGray now leading all scores with eight points. We have 28 seconds left in the first quarter, 16 to 13. The Granby Bears on top. This is Marson for the Phoenix. Kandik now throws outside to Diolito for three, no good. Rebound is tipped and Ralph Rossi who checked in. Number 32 comes down with it. Here's Liam Heiss with a jumper that is no good. Rebound by Diolito and that is the end of the first quarter. So we have had quite a fast paced first quarter here. Both teams frequently using the full court press and it's fast flat out basketball. 16 to 13 the Granby Bears on top. Jack DeGray leads all scorers with eight. Cam Deere has hit two three pointers for a total of six. And Aiden Goudreau chipped in a basket for two. For HTCMA, their leading scorer is Alex Diolito with seven. Karan Henderson has two. Ethan Wellington, two. And Demir Kandik has two. So we're ready to begin the second quarter. Again, quite a fast paced game. This is an N Triple C tournament game. The winner moves on to the next round. Here's Liam Heights, number 14, to Dylan Disabella. Number 12, Joshua Brown is checked in for Granby. Here's Heights. Throws it outside to Rowan Heights for three-point attempt, no good. And Candick with the rebound to Diolito. Back to Candick, his shot is no good. Disabella with the rebound for Granby. Gets it up court to Goodrow. Brown back to Goodrow. Turnaround jump off the rim, no good. Tip. Ball is loose, and we're going to have a foul. Foul will be against Granby. And it's against number 10, Aiden Goodrow. Here's Henderson for HTCMA. This is Diolito being guarded closely by Brown. Long three attempt is no good. Goodrow with the rebound. Disabella bringing it up for Granby. Here's Liam Heights with a three point attempt. No good. Rebound is loose. And we're going to have a jump ball. So the first jump will be awarded to. HTCMA. Here's Marson. To Diolito. Throws it to Wellington for the shot that is good. Ethan Wellington now with four points on the night. 16 to 15. Granby on top. Isabella to Brown, to Disabella, to Rowan Heights, and he's going to be called for traveling. Heights saw a little daylight there to the basket and just started his march to the basket a little too quickly. Here's Henderson.
Pass underneath, off the hands of Kanda. Disabella to Bell, to Disabella, to Heinz. Back outside to Bell. Bell drives to DeGray, Disabella, Brown. Here's Disabella. Back to DeGray, he's gonna go for the three. No good, and the rebound, Karan Henderson. Henderson bringing the ball across court. Drives, spins, ball is loose. Henderson recovers, all the way to the basket, no good. And Disabella with the rebound. Up court to DeGray with the layup that is good. Nice job by Jack DeGray. Hauling in that pass and having the wherewithal to drop it in for the layup. Fialito guarded tightly by Brown to Marson. Marson back to Diolito, pulls up, jump, no good, but he was fouled. Foul is called against Josh Brown. That is his first. And Diolito will go to the foul line for the Phoenix. 18 to 15, Granby on top, 442 left in the second quarter. First one is good. And the second one is good. Diolito leads the Phoenix scoring with nine points, and Granby's lead is one point. Bell to Rowan Heights. Disabella. Brown. Back to Disabella. In the Heights for a turnaround jump, the foul line rims the basket and comes out. Wellington with the rebound, dishes it off to Diolito. Delito drives against Brown, puts up a shot, no good. Rebound underneath is no good as Kendek got the rebound and I believe he was fouled. Or maybe they're calling him for the push off. Yes, they are. They're calling Demir Kendek for a push off underneath his first foul. 18 to 17, Granby leaves with four minutes left in the second quarter. Brown drives the lane, comes back out. DeGray back to Brown. To DeGray, to Heinz. Brown pulls up for three, loses his footing, managed to maintain control, nice job. And here's Disabella with a three, no good. Tipped out of bounds by DeGray. And it'll be Phoenix ball. Granby going back to the full court press. Brown guarding Diolito, trying to inbounds. Brown does tip it, but Wellington gets it, flips it back to Diolito, quickly up court. Underneath, it goes to Kandik. This shot is blocked by Hines, but Kandik gets the rebound, no good. Disabella with the rebound to Bell. Disabella into Hines cutting. Back outside to Bell. Bell drives the lane. Ball's tipped away. Nice steal by Karan Henderson. And we have a whistle and foul. Josh Brown called for a second foul, a non-shooting foul. We're gonna have a, a timeout. So when we come back, HTCMA will get the ball at their end of the court. It's 18 to 17, the Granby Bears on top. This second quarter has been like the first, just a fast-paced ball game. Coach Wally Hansen has gone to his bench in this quarter. And Granby uh, has only scored one hoop so far in the second, and HTCMA only two. So a low scoring first half of this second quarter. 
the defenses have been pretty tenacious. It's been hard to get an easy shot underneath. HTCMA has a small squad. They have eight players dressed for tonight's game, so the starters have really stayed in there for most of the game so far. Here's Marson, guarded by Bell. Marson drives the lane, pulls up but slips, loses his footing, and he'll be called for traveling. So unfortunate that you slip like that, but but it is considered a travel. Bell will bring it up for Granby. Bell to Cam Deer who's back in. Deer into Heinz cutting. Shot is partially blocked by Kandik and he knocks it out of bounds. So Granby retains possession. Jameer Kandik, a big presence in there. He's really been clogging up the middle, making it tough for Granby to get any shots close to the basket. Here's Bell inbounding to Heinz, to DeGray, to Deer. Brown looked like he was gonna shoot, pulls up, back to Bell. Deer into Heinz with a reverse layup that's no good. Karan Henderson with the rebound, bringing it up for the Phoenix. There's a pass into Wellington who turns. Shot is no good. And he's called for a violation. So a turnover. And Granby will inbound. 18 to 17, 220 left in the first half. Deer to Bell. Bell to Deer. Trying to get it in a side to Heights, to Bell, back to Heights, turns, here's Deer for three-point attempt. Around no good, and a Kendick again with the rebound. Here's Roseman who entered for HTCMA. Number two, Diolito, driving against Deer. Pass underneath for Kendick, kicks it outside. Shot is no good by Roseman. Rebound, scramble, and Cam Deer comes down with it, but if the pass is intercepted, here's Delito. His pass is taken away and Granby comes down with it. DeGray. Drives to Deer in the corner. Deer to Heinz. Heinz underneath. Back outside to Gray, to Brown, to Bell. Bell to Heinz. DeGray, Bell, Heinz. Brown, good defense by the Phoenix. Brown looking inside to Heinz, dishes it outside to Brown. Brown drives, goes in for a layup that is around and good. John Bell with a nice looking layup. 20 to 17, Granby leads. 45 seconds left in the second quarter. Here's Roseman, throwing to Worthington. His shot is good. Ethan R. Wellington. Ethan Wellington now with six points. 30 seconds left in the quarter. Heinz brings it up to DeGray, back to Bell. Deer to Bell, to Deer. Heinz, Granby looking for a good shot. Here's Heinz pulls up, and his pass is partially tipped. Karan Henderson. Now to Diolito, drives, no good, but a whistle and a foul, and Diolito is going to be called for the charge. That's the first on Diolito. Nine seconds left in the quarter. Justin Phillips, number three, has entered for the Granby Bears. Here's the inbounds, here's Phillips. To 
And Isabella pulls up for three. That's good! Just before the buzzer sounded, Dylan Disabella with a big three-pointer. His first points of the evening. And let's see what we have for scoring here. We have 23 to 19, the Granby Bears on top. A very, very low scoring quarter. Granby outscored the Phoenix seven to six. And they now lead by a score of 23 to 19. As I mentioned before, a very fast paced game. Both defenses have been very tenacious. We've seen a lot of full court presses, a lot of pressure defense from both teams. And now we'll leave you to the Granby cheerleaders.
We're just about ready to start the second half of the February 28th NCCC tournament game between the visiting HTCMA Phoenix and the home team Granby Bears. The Granby Bears lead 23 to 19. The Bears outscored the Phoenix 16 to 13 in the first quarter and then seven to six in the second quarter. So a relatively low score for the second quarter, but we have seen a very fast paced game and some very good defense from both sides. Demir Kandik has been a presence number 23 for Phoenix making it very difficult for Granby to get inside. I don't have any stats on his heights, but he clearly is the tallest one out there and he's really blocked that middle quite effectively. It's Granby ball. Here's John Bell inside the Heinz to Disabella. Bell to Deer. Back to Bell to Disabella. The Heinz looking to drive. Pulls up for a short jump. That is good. Rowan Heinz with his first basket of the night. He's Granby's leading scorer for the season. That just tells you how tough this defense has been. Trap by Granby is finally broken. Here's Wellington going in for shot. That is good. Ethan Wellington now with eight points. 25-21, Granby up by four. We're in the third quarter. Bell to Disabella. Heinz comes out for it to Bell. Bell drives the lane, puts on a floater that is around and no good. And Diatillo comes down with the rebound to Henderson. Diatillo to Marson. Back to Diatillo. Here's Marson. Marson with a floater, that is good. Nice move to the basket by Richardson Marson. That's his first bucket of the evening. Pulls his team to lean two. Here's Heinz. Back out to Bell. Disabella back to Bell going for the three. John Bell's shot is no good. Wellington, the rebound to Diatillo. Here's Henderson. Nifty pass into Wellington that is tipped away, and Disabella comes away with it for Granby. Disabella's pass is deflected out of bounds, and it will be Granby ball. 25 23, 544 left in the third quarter. Granby leads by two. Jack DeGray will inbound for Granby. John Bell to Disabella. To Heinz, pulls up, jump, no good. Rebound, Kandik. Henderson loses control of the ball, regains. Back to Diatillo. Diatillo looks for Wellington. Back to Diatillo. Running floater, that is good. Nice looking shot by Alex Diatillo. He now has 11. He's the leading scorer for the Phoenix. The game is now tied at 25 apiece. Disabella drives the lane, kicks it out to DeGray. To Cam Deer. Disabella. And DeGray's pass to Deer is knocked away by Di Diatillo. Substitution for Granby. Number three, Justin Phillips reports in, replacing John Bell. Bell leaves with two points. So Coach Hansen trying to. Find a little offense here. Here's Phillips for a three. Rims and comes out. And Kandik with the rebound quickly 
to Diatillo for a layup that is around. Off the rim, no good. Cam Deer. Oh, and they're gonna call Deer out of on the, in, uh, on the foul line. Or the out-of-bounds line. Great attempt by Cam Deer to save that. Here's Marson. There's a shot that is no good by Diatillo, but we're gonna have a foul. It's gonna be against Grabby. It was a shooting foul, and that uh, is being called against Jack DeGray. That's the first against DeGray. So Diatillo, who has 11 on the night, sinks the first one. He leads all scorers in this ball game. And the second is good. So Alex Diatillo puts his team up for the first time this evening. HTCMA is in the lead, 27-25. Here's Heinz going in for a lap. That is blocked by Candid. Again, Kandik has made it very difficult inside for the Bears. Here's Cam Deer with a three. That is good. Deer puts Gramby back out on top with that three. Cam Deer's had a nice uh, shooting touch tonight. He has hit on three three-pointers for a total of nine points so far. So Gramby regains the lead 28-27. They've been outscored in this quarter, seven to five. Granby staying with the same lineup that left the floor. That includes Justin Phillips, who replaced John Bell a little earlier in the quarter. We have four minutes left in the third. Here's Diatillo. Marson being guarded by Deer. Gets it up quickly to Henderson. Turnaround by Wellington. That will not go for him, and DeGray rebounds for Granby. Disabella to Phillips, back to Disabella. To Heinz, underneath to DeGray, kicks it back outside to Phillips. Here's a three, no good. And the rebound by Henderson. Henderson to Marson. Looks like they're running a set play here. Here's Diatillo going in for the left, but it's blocked by DeGray. Isabella comes down with it, but his pass intended for Deer is knocked away by Henderson. So Granby will retain possession. They're up by a point, 28-27, 2.57 left in the third quarter. Phillips to Heinz, to Disabella underneath DeGray. Here's Heinz going in for a layup that is no good. DeGray with the rebound. Heinz with a beautiful reverse. Rowan Heinz now has four. 30 to 27, Granby on top. Here's Henderson in for the layup. That is good. 30 to 29, Granby up by one. Phillips to Deer. Over to Heinz, Heinz drives, pulls up, throws it back outside to Deer. And DeGray's gonna bring it back out to Phillips, to Disabella. Inside to Heinz, he's double teamed, throws to Phillips, top of the key, and he hits the three.
Justin Phillips with his first basket of the night. Puts Granby up by 4, 33 to 29. 150 left in the first, a uh, third quarter. Here's Henderson. Brian Henderson throws to Marson. Back to Henderson. Here's Wellington trying to get it underneath, and the shot is no good by Kandek. And Disabella rebounds for Grandy. Here's Deer for three pointer. No good. Kandek with the rebound. Diatilla pulls up for three. Good. Diatello now with 16 on the night. He leads all scorers. Phillips driving, pulls up for a shot. That is good. Justin Phillips with five, 35-32. 45 seconds left in the third quarter. Henderson. Looks like they may be trying for the last shot. We'll see. Diolito throws into Henderson, and he makes the layup, and he is fouled. Yes, and it counts. That foul was against Cam Deer. That's his first. So Henderson gets the basket. Now he'll go in for the, see if he can get the foul shot to tie it. And he does. He now has seven. 27 seconds left in the third quarter. We're tied at 35. Phillips to Heinz. Heinz drives underneath to DeGray. His shot is tipped away. And the Phoenix comes up with the loose ball. Marson to Henderson. And to Kandek. Goes around for a hook that's no good. Fialito comes up with it and his shot just misses. Wow, what a, what a quarter. 35-35 after three. So I'm just checking the stats here. It looks like HTCMA had 16 points in the quarter. And let's see, for Granby, they had 11 for the quarter. Granby led through the whole game until about midway in the third quarter on a surge from HTCMA. Again, the pace has not let up. Justin Phillips came off the bench for a little firepower in the third quarter, hitting on a three-pointer, and then towards the end of the quarter, hitting on a two. So the HTCMA Phoenix will be inbounding. Here's Diatillo to Henderson. Henderson loops it to Kandik. Kandik back to Henderson, pulls up for the three. Now goes in for the drive, and that is blocked by Hines. Phillips quickly up court to DeGray. Back to Phillips, three-point attempt. Let's go!
Justin Phillips with eight points. Hits on another three-pointer. He now has eight. Here's Wellington from the foul line. He hits. Ethan Wellington now with 10 points. Phillips drives the lane, loses control of the ball. DeGray battling for it, and we have a jump ball. DeGray and Henderson going after that loose ball. And since they alternate possession, it will be Granby's ball underneath their own basket. 38-37, the Bears on top, 654 left in the ball game. Substitution, Aiden Goodrow reports in for Jack DeGray for Granby. Here's Heinz. And Josh Brown has entered as also number 12. Off Heinz's foot, Brown to Phillips for three. And he hits it again. Justin Phillips with his third three-pointer of the evening. His Diotillo with a shot off the rim, no good. And Phillips with the ball. Here's Phillips to Goodrow. Back to Phillips for three, no good. Rebound to Sabella underneath. Kicks it back outside to Brown. to Phillips, to Brown, to Heinz. Heinz to Goodrow, inside to Heinz for a reverse, but it's good. Beautiful pass from Goodrow to Heinz. And time is called. An eight to two surge by the Granby Bears has put them on top. 43 to 37. Led by a couple of three pointers from Justin Phillips and that beautiful reverse layup by Rowan Heinz, the assist by Goodrow. The atmosphere here tonight has been absolutely electric, especially here in the second half. You can hear that the crowd is pretty fired up by this one as well. This is an NCCC tournament game. These two teams played a close one earlier in the year with Granby topping the Phoenix by a score of 48-45. And they look pretty evenly matched tonight once again. 43-37, Granby on top, 5-40 left in the ball game. Here's Giatillo to Henderson. Henderson puts up the three that's no good. Rebound by Kandik. But we have a foul. And that foul is going to be against Demir Kandik. That is his second. Granby will inbound. There have been very few fouls in this game. Here's Heinz to Brown. Disabella to Phillips, drives. Here's Brown going for the three. That is good! Josh Brown on his first hoop of the evening. He now has three on that three-pointer. Here's Marson. Wellington puts up the jump. Off the front, no good. But Diatillo comes down with the rebound. Whistle. Granby foul. It's going to be against Rowan Heinz. That is Heinz's first foul. Non-shooting. So inbounds is thrown away. 
as Marson thought that Diatillo was going to be cutting to his right, but instead he cut to his left, and the ball sailed out of bounds. Here's Phillips looping a pass to Heinz, loses control. And Marson brings it across. Henderson loops it into Kandik and puts in the layup that is good. Demir Kandik, his second basket, he now has four points. Phillips to Brown to Heights. Kandik fends him off. Here's Phillips going underneath for a layup that is no good. Wellington with the rebound. Henderson. Looking for Kandik underneath. Flips it back out to Henderson who hits the three. Karan Henderson now with 10 points. 46-41, Granby on top. Four minutes left in the ball game. Heiss with the layup that is good. Rowan Heiss with eight points. So Granby answers that hoop from uh, Henderson with a hoop of their own. Rowan Heinz, Heinz now with eight, all of them coming in the second half. We have seen HTCMA go into Kandik a little bit more in the last couple of minutes. He certainly has the height advantage under there. And as I mentioned earlier, he is doing a great job of clogging that middle. From the couple of games we've done earlier this year, um, Rowan Heinz is really on the inside, but that tall physical presence of Kandik has forced him to kick the ball out quite a bit. There just are not anything, uh, any easy shots underneath there. But to Heinz's credit, he's figured it out a couple times in this quarter to find an advantage and get the layups. John Bell is reported in, replacing Justin Phillips has done a terrific job with 11 points off the bench in this half. Here's a pass to Diatillo. Henderson, underneath, shot is no good, rebound by Kandik, around and in. Demir Kandik now has six, continuing to fight underneath for that ball. 48-43, Granby leads by five. Disabella to Brown. Back to Disabella. Brown. Starts to drive, pulls up, now back outside to Hines, to Disabella. Looks like Granby's working for a good shot, taking their time. Isabella to Brown. Great pressing defense by the Phoenix. There's a lap by Brown that is no good. Kandik rebounds. Marson. It looks like we have a foul underneath against Granby. That's against Goodrow, that's his second. Granby now has four fouls in this half. Marson will inbound for the Phoenix. The Diatillo. Back to Marson. Henderson, and we have a whistle. Looks like Heinz trying to establish position with Kandik. And it is against Rowan Heinz, that's his second, as the two were jockeying for position underneath the basket. Diatillo will inbound. Throws it outside for a jump, that is good. A three-pointer 
by Brandon Roseman. Those are his first points of the evening. 48-46, Granby up by two. Bell goes in for the layup, but it's no good, but a foul. That foul is going to be against Richardson Marson, who's first. Bell was shooting, so he gets two shots here. Bell has two on the evening. First one is good. Forty nine forty six the Bears lead. Second by Bell is good. Nice composure by John Bell to sink those two important foul shots. Two minutes left in the ball game. Diatillo drives against DeGray goes in for layup that is no good. Battle for the ball and Heinz is going to be called for the foul. Reaching in. Rowan Heinz with his third foul. Granby with six fouls in this half. So the Phoenix will inbound. Here's Diatillo pulling up for a jump. That is good in his foul. Alex Diatillo. hitting on the shot and he was fouled on the play so he can make it a three point play here with this foul shot. He has 18 on the evening. He leads all scorers. But this is his first hoop of the fourth quarter. Gatillo coolly sinks the foul shot. Now has 19. Granby has a slim lead here. By 1.50 to 49, we only have a minute and 48 seconds left in the ball game. So we hear from the cheering session from HTCMA rooting on their team as well. Granby took an early lead in this ball game, leading 16 to 13 after the first quarter, 23 to 19 and a half, and we left the third quarter tied at 35 all. And now it comes down to the last minute and 48 seconds. The Phoenix will be employing a full court press. Here's Heinz. Heinz working against Kandek. Heinz going in for the shot that is no good. And we're going to have a foul underneath. Heinz got by Kandek and then drove the lane. And that foul is on Brandon Roseman, his first. It's a non-shooting foul. Bell will inbound for Granby. Bell to Heinz, working against Kandik. His shot is blocked by Kandik. Stolen by Disabella, back to Brown. Brown to Disabella. Disabella drives the lane for a layup that is good! Big layup by Disabella, he now has five. Granby leads by three. A minute 15 left in the ball game. And we have a turnover against the Phoenix. Or actually, it's going to be a pushing foul. It is against Richardson Marson, pushing off. So a huge break for Granby, and Granby's gonna wanna talk it over. Coach Hanson wants his team to get a good shot here. 
With 1-12 left in the ball game, Granby leads by three. So time is certainly on their side if they want to hold, if possible, for a last shot and try to take time off the clock, they, they can do that. We'll see what their strategy is. Easier said than done. This trapping defense by uh, HTCMA has been very difficult. And when Granby has had the ball uh, deep on the offense, the Phoenix have come right out and, and covered them. So I don't think you're going to see much leeway uh, by their defense. I think they're going to be right in the Bears' faces. So Jack DeGray will inbound for Granby. As you can see, a full court press. Bell working against Marson. To Heinz. We have a minute left in the ball game. Heinz. Kanda grabs him. In this man-to-man -man trapping defense, Kandik had to come out on Heinz. Heinz a little bit quicker got by him. And Kandik put his arm out for the hold. Smart move by Kandik. It doesn't hurt anything as Granby will inbound. That's Kandik's third foul. Bell being guarded by Marson. 50 seconds left. Here's Disabella. Drives, backs off. Kandik on Disabella reaches in and Kandik fouls Disabella. That's Kandik's fourth. Again, a non-shooting foul, so um, there's no harm done with that, other than the clock ticking. It certainly prevented Disabella from being able to drive down the lane. So Jack DeGray will inbound with 43 seconds left. Granby leads 52 to 49. DeGray to Heinz to Bell. Bell guarded tightly by Marson. Good one-on-one -on -one battle with those two. Nice job by Bell bringing it across. There's Heinz to Disabella. Disabella drives, brings it back out. Isabella taking time off the clock to DeGray, to Bell. And Marson fouls him. Coach Bressy was imploring his team to foul as Granby was doing a great job of running some time off the clock. This is the seventh foul now of the half for the Phoenix. So John Bell will go to the foul line for a one in one situation. Bell has four points on the evening. Just a couple of minutes ago, hit a couple of key foul shots. It's up and good. Second one by Bell is around and out. Disabella comes down with the rebound and it's good. Big play underneath for Granby. You see Attilo with the layup that is no good. Disabella with the rebound and with one second left, a foul is called. That foul was on Karan Henderson. So Disabella in a one and one situation. Granby up by six. Sinks the first. <laughs> and 
and he makes the second. And that's going to be the ball game. 57-49. The Granby Bears defeat HTCMA Phoenix. Quite a terrific fourth quarter by the Bears with the score tied 35 all after three quarters. The Bears outscored the Phoenix 22 to 12 in that quarter. Nice job by Coach Wally Hansen as his team struggled to score in the second and third quarters. He made some changes bringing in Justin Phillips who came off the bench to hit a few threes. Josh Bell hitting, or Josh Brown hitting a big three in the fourth quarter. And Granby did a nice job keeping their composure. John Bell had a couple of big foul shots in the fourth quarter. Dylan Disabella, a couple of key baskets, and Rowan Heinz getting a couple underneath. So unofficially our scoring for Granby Justin Phillips with 11, John Bell with five, Dylan DiCibella nine, Cam Deer with three three-pointers for nine, Josh Brown three, Rowan Heinz eight, Jack DeGray 10. And for HTCMA, Richardson Marson a bucket for two, Brandon Roseman hit a big three-pointer in the fourth quarter for three. Alex Diatillo led all scores with 19 points, Ron Henderson with 10, Ethan Wellington 10, and Demir Kandik with 6. Again, those are unofficial stats. We'll get the official ones for you uh, in the credits after the ball game. A real nice NCCC tournament game for the Granby Bears. Again, with a tight ball game, they had a great fourth quarter to go ahead. Again, this game is being presented by Granby Community Television. I'm Chris Saunders, and special thanks to cameraman Mark Bombard. Again, the final score, the Granby Bears 57 and the HTCMA Phoenix 49.